huh? You okay? I'm fine, I'm going to the beach now. Okay. See you later, huh? Beach. Yeah, that's where I'm heading now. Uh, the beach is just a stone th throw away, a stone throw away from my bungalow. And this is, by the way, how the the neighbors are living here. Not much going on, right? But this is a small alley I have to pass through here. And today is the <clears throat> best day since my arrival. It's dry, it's not raining today and the sun is shining, uh, which is very important. Blue sky also. And uh, since my arrival it was almost only raining all the time and today I want to show you how it looks when I approach the beach here in uh, Sansibar and Page. We have a few kite surfers over there. It's high tide. Oh yeah, uh, because I've never been so early here. Normally you can walk past this house. Hey, but uh, maybe I missed something. I don't know. I don't know why it's high tide today because the other day I checked and. Yeah, maybe the times are changing, I don't know. Probably, otherwise there wouldn't be a high tide now, right? <laughs> anyway, look at the colors. Wow. Amazing. Not much, not many people here. Like I said, it's the low season, but uh, you know, it's worth it because I don't like uh, people, you know, I, I, I prefer to be by myself and, uh, you know, I don't need uh, a bunch of people around me all the time. Yeah, so that's why I prefer the low season and it's also cheaper, you know, way cheaper than uh, where you would uh, travel during the high season. The place where I'm staying actually now, yeah, I got it for 50% cheaper than uh, it was advertised in booking.com. Yeah, I will do another video. I will show you the complex in another video. Just today I wanted to show you the, the beach area. This is a restaurant over there where I had some pretty decent wok fried noodles the other day. It was a really, a really good meal and uh, I, I know the chef. His name is Tom. He's a good guy, very friendly and he can cook. So, let's enjoy the uh, water. Yeah, so I I checked uh, out some places on uh, booking.com and the place where I'm staying now uh, was like, I, I was looking for a one month stay, you know, staying a long time. And they advertised it for like 950 US dollar. So, but I know how this whole thing works. That's why I went around, checked out some places and I just walked in and talked to, uh, to the staff and said, you know, I asked how much the daily rate is and they told me like, like $30. And I said, no, I'm not staying here one or two days only. What is your weekly rate or what is your two weeks rate or what is your monthly rate, you know? And then he said, you know, like, yeah, if you stay for a month, we can give you a, a rate for like 20 bucks a day. And I said, yeah, you, if you want, you can also give me a 18 bucks per day. And so he did. So he checked with his manager, with his boss, and then eventually made a deal. Now I'm staying there for one month. And sure, you can get it cheaper also, but you know, it's always the thing you have to, so many, uh, variables play a role, you know, everybody has a different standard, you know, you need air condition here, some people don't need, and then all these kind of things, you know. So I made this deal, I'm staying there in the bungalow now, and then, yeah, interesting experience. 
because you don't have you don't have all the luxuries which you normally have you know like air condition and refrigerator and carpet and this and that and there's nothing I, I will do a video I will show you how I live now yeah stick around there's coming more and more stuff so I will show you the bungalow how I live the compound the complex everything so you get an idea what I'm talking about but you know the good thing is it's close to the beach and there's nothing going on here which is actually good for me because this is what I like you know, I don't like places like Kuta and Bali I know many of you probably uh, they love it but for me it's too many people it's just too much uh, nonsense and this is actually what I prefer you know just uh, the pure natural beach and less people a few people is okay but you know everything is very natural here as you can see it looks like in the Philippines you know, greetings to the Philippines by the way and it also looks like here in Indonesia and in Thailand and all these Southeast Asian countries but especially reminds me of the Philippines where there are some great beaches and great destinations yeah all right so now you get an idea I will enjoy the rest of the afternoon I try to find a place to hang out now right see you in the next video bye bye